Meg got bitter pill. Meghan pays dearly for her greed over her conspiracy to cash in on royal links. Meghan Markle saw there were deals to be made as a royal and couldn't resist what was offer at the celebrity buffet, ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown has claimed. Appearing on Washington Post Live Today to promote her new book The Palace Papers, Ms. Brown, who was Princess Diana's diarist, said the Duchess of Sussex has no purpose and wanted to cash in on the commercial arm of being a royal. Discussing Harry and Meghan's exit from royal life, she said, they wanted to be able to have a commercial arm to their activities. That was the stumbling block. Meghan certainly saw the deals that were there to be made because they were royals. It's as though she couldn't resist everything that was on offer on the celebrity buffet. A hunger to avail herself of the global leverage, to live in glorious houses without strings attached. Ms. Brown suggested that Meghan was inspired by Michelle Obama and wanted to have the wealth as well as the stature. However, she also insisted that Harry would have wanted to leave the royal family even without Meghan. She added, a very close advisor told me we always knew he would go at some point he was very unhappy. Even the Queen knew. I really think Harry wanted out, himself. Meghan gave Harry the tools to leave. She understood the world of agents and deals. I mean this wasn't Harry's world, but suddenly he had in Meghan a very worldly strategist who he decided to trust above all the other advisors. The couple have struggled since leaving the royal family, Ms. Brown believes. She thinks Meghan is finding it difficult to find a brand and the Sussexes didn't realize how hard life would be while cut off from the palace. She said, they both completely underestimated what it was going to be like to be without the palace platform. The palace has amazing convening power, every major invitation in the world comes through that conduit. All of that is now gone. Meghan doesn't really have a brand, you feel that she is grasping at the Twitter caring of the moment. Vaccinations, Ukraine, women's rights, my 40th birthday, let's have a mentoring scheme. Nothing is really going anywhere for Meghan. And the whole problem, with entertainment deal is you have to produce. They've signed with Netflix but what have we seen? Nothing. Creating entertainment that works is very hard to do. Their Spotify podcast is going nowhere. Netflix is not doing so well are they going to renew that contract? Ms. Brown also discussed why Meghan would have struggled so much after joining the royal family. She suggested, she was suddenly completely dependent on her husband for money and he was completely dependent on the bank of dad, Charles and at the same time had to ask granny for one of the houses on the royal estates to live. That kind of infantilizing was very maddening to Meghan. I think the queen and the palace set them up for a lot of success. She gave her patron of the National Theatre and Vice Chairman of the Commonwealth Foundation no better platform to talk about women's education and the question of minorities. Many royal fans commented on this news. One said, she is married to a royal, she is not one. Not sure if she gets that part. One replied, we all saw through her. From her terrible acting staring lovingly at her husband. Her poor me walk down the aisle alone every contrived move she makes. Now it's time to live that private life she apparently wanted. Another said, in short Harry, you got used and played like a royal. One more added, Markle's fans love to proclaim that she had wealth in her own right before she met Harry. Why would she need to depend on the RF for income if this were true? Her latest comments come after she previously claimed Meghan would not want to return to the UK for more than a fleeting visit if Harry mends his relationship with his father and brother because she disliked England.